Whoa, all right. So here we are in NixOS with a bone stock vanilla install. No changes have been made. I'm gonna pull up uh, half of our terminal here. Let's go into etc. NixOS. So we'll do sudo nano configuration.nix and let's go down to the packages section. Environment system packages. So we want to install VirtualBox, right? So we could just do uh, VirtualBox. We'll open up Firefox. We can just make sure that that's what the package is named. And yeah, it's VirtualBox. All right, so we've added VirtualBox. I'm also just gonna add Vim and uh, I'll exit out and save this, okay? So with those changes made, we'll run a sudo nixos rebuild switch and let it do its thing. Okay, so I'll reboot and be right back with you. And now back in the new generation, uh, let's open up VirtualBox. Now I know this will fail in a minute. I will import a VM that I have in my downloads, Kunix. Let me import that. And I'll just select all the settings and agree. Let that finish. Okay, now that those are both imported, I should be able to run my virtual box and be off to the races, right? Well, let's try to start it. It attempted to open up a window and it showed me this error message. Virtual box kernel driver not installed. The VBox drive kernel module was either not loaded or you are using EFI Secure Boot and the module is not signed in the right way for your system. So at any rate, VirtualBox has fallen on its face. I knew this was going to happen, and let me show you why. I'll open up a terminal, make it big for you guys. Put that over here, and I'll open up Firefox. So to see why VirtualBox needs extra setup, let's search NixOS VirtualBox and we'll open up the NixOS wiki. That's important. We wanna be on the uh, NixOS site. And if we start reading, we see that the NixOS wiki doesn't tell us just to install the VirtualBox package, but that there's these different setups. So first and foremost, you have to have virtualization.virtualbox host enable equals true in your configuration.nix and you have to add the user to the VBox users group. So we would put our username here. Okay, so that's two lines that we need. Let's scroll down. We'd also want Oracle extensions so we can use USB 2 and 3. Um, so that requires, this is the uh, a line from up here. But so it also needs unfree packages. That's a decision you have to make. And the extension packs. Let's keep reading. If we want VirtualBox guest editions, we also need uh, the VirtualBox guest.x11 equals true line. So at any rate, sometimes when you're setting up a software, let's go over to NixOS or etc. NixOS, and now we can sudo vim because I added it, configuration.nix. Okay, let's go down and take out virtual box line here. I do want to take note guys, I've already allowed unfree packages, which the Oracle extensions needs. So I don't need that. So now let's get down to the nitty gritty. I'm going to add it right underneath unfree packages. I'm going to add a couple lines. All right. And I'm going to put a hash and this is going to be all my virtual box uh, setup. Okay. First, I'll need these two lines. Copy those, I'm gonna paste them. 
paste them right there. I'm going to edit this because my username is TechHeart. So you can add your username, but my username is TechHeart. Looks like these can be over one character. Those are the first two lines. So now let's go down. We want to add the Oracle extensions part. So we already have these two lines. So for this, all we need is virtualization, virtualbox host, enable extension pack. So let's copy that. We'll paste it here. And we also want to add guest additions. So again, we have, oops, no, we don't have guest enable. So we'll copy this. We'll copy this. We'll paste that here. That's everything we need from, from uh, Firefox. So I'm gonna close that and just drag this window a little bigger so you guys can see. So this is the entire VirtualBox setup instead of just adding you know, the words VirtualBox uh, under there in packages. We have virtualization.virtualbox host enable is true. Users, extra groups, VBox users, members to your username. And then if you want Oracle extensions for USB, you add this line, and uh, these down here are for the guest additions. So now, let's write this file, and we will once again do a sudo nixos rebuild switch. On an old ThinkPad for me, that took about 10 or 15 minutes. But at any rate, you can see how much more uh, went into this than when we simply added VirtualBox as a package. I don't think I need a reboot, but I'm gonna do one and I'll catch y'all back here in a minute. All right, so we're back. Let's load up VirtualBox again and let's see. I'm gonna snap this to the corner here. Let's see if we can now run this uh, VM. Look at that. Now the VM runs as expected with no issues whatsoever and boots right into Unix or whatever virtual machine you were attempting to create and or use. I'm going to exit out of this for now. And I would like to show you guys one or two more things. Let's open up Firefox. We're right back on the NixOS wiki about VirtualBox. I'm going to open up a terminal so I can pull that set up for you. Vim. And go down to our setup. So now uh, there's nothing you know, VirtualBox is not in our packages list down here, but our entire VirtualBox is set up. This is everything that we needed to add VirtualBox. Let's just go back to the wiki and at the very bottom, see also virtualization.virtualbox options. Uh, this will list other options that you can set up for VirtualBox. Uh, say you need hardening. It ensures that only binaries in the system path get access to devices, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, if you're, if you're a, a VirtualBox user that needs other settings, you'll find those here and you'll be able to add them in your VirtualBox setup. So I just wanted to point that out. You can also syntax this or set this up as its own uh, section. Let me find a small one. I don't want to confuse anybody, but you know, it could have its own stanza inside of, inside of, uh, these brackets, like, you know, see this imports part? I don't do that, I'm not that advanced of a user, but you can set up these lines in a more clean way. But uh, this does the job for me. 
And I just wanted to point out how you would install VirtualBox and have it work in NixOS. And so there you go, guys. Don't just add your package. You have to figure out the VirtualBox setup and add lines such as these. All right, and we're out.